Adding a table to your Gliffy diagram is a helpful way to provide extra details or reference information for the diagram's users or viewers. As an example, you could add a table to your company's network diagram to show how many devices like laptops, desktops, and printers are connected in your network. Or you could add a table to your company's org chart. This would give contact info for each functional group's team administrator. Another idea is if you're redesigning a web page and you've been testing different designs or you want to pull up the analytics for that page, a table could provide a quick snapshot of those results and that data right there next to your design. So while tables aren't a type of diagram, they can be a helpful way to give your viewers the context they need to understand and use your diagram without having to open up or reference an additional source. I'm going to add a table to my drawing board by going to File, New, and I'm just going to create a basic diagram. Now, I have a table shape right here that I can pull up, but you can also search table in this shape search bar and it will pull up the table shapes that are available for you. All I need to do is drag and drop this shape onto my canvas. And it starts out as a 3x3 three three table, but you can change that by clicking on the table and clicking this gear icon. This allows you to add columns to the front, columns to the back, rows to the top, rows to the bottom, or remove and delete columns. So I'm going to add a few rows. Great. Now, all you need to do is click on the cell where you want to input some data and type the information you want to include there. And then I'm going to say this one is for Mac and this one is for Windows. Copy will be Control C. And on Windows, it's Command C. So I could go in and fill out this table. Here are a few extra tips for styling and sizing your table correctly. First, you can change the color of the text and the styling just like you would change the text associated with any other shape. You can also change the color and styling of an individual cell. And you can hover to control the width of the rows here. So I can do this to change the height or width, and then I can use the corner to drag out and scale the whole table together. That is all it takes. So don't forget to subscribe and check out other video tutorials and start adding tables to your diagrams when you need to include a little bit of extra info. Happy diagramming.